A team from Kurdistan 24 gained exclusive access from the US-led coalition to travel by Black Hawk helicopters from the Kurdistan over Iraq to eastern Syria. The visit gave us a unique opportunity to see the situation in eastern Syria after US President Donald Trump withdrew troops from the Syrian-Turkish border and Turkey attacked the Syrian Kurds in October. The decision was seen by many as a betrayal of America's Kurdish allies in the region. However, the US president decided in late October to still keep troops in Syria to protect the oil from ISIS. It was no wonder that the first base we visited was in the oil-rich province of Deir Ezzor that the US said it would protect. The US soldiers in the Deir Ezzor base have the mission to protect their troops and are equipped with all the military power they need to stop attacks from ISIS but also from the Syrian government. Coalition officials told Kurdistan 24 that they cannot reveal how many US soldiers are now stationed in Syria. However, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff on Sunday announced 500 to 600 US troops will remain in Syria. Although US President Trump announced that US troops will protect oil fields in Syria, coalition officials on the ground say that the mission to fight ISIS continues, but they now also protect critical infrastructures in the area, including oil. Special Task Force Commander Eric Hill told reporters that U.S. forces will stay in military bases near Kamishlo, Derik and Deir Ezzor in eastern Syria. ISIS lost all control of territory. The defeat of the physical caliphate happened. Okay, but that doesn't mean the mission was over. The mission still continues. And Daesh is trying to resurge wherever they can. Since March, in 2019, when we defeated the physical caliphate, we've captured over 700 ISIS fighters since that time. We've destroyed many uh, explosives and uh, war remnants, and we continue to do so as we find them uh, cached all over uh, the region. On the same day, the news came that ISIS carried out attacks in Kamishli and killed an Armenian priest. This underlines again the need for US soldiers to stay in Syria to fight ISIS. Moreover, US soldiers on the ground and also in private expressed their worries about the faith of Kurdish fighters that are now being attacked by Turkish backed groups. US Marine Corps gunnery sergeant Chris Becker stationed in Derazor understood that Kurdish fighters are worried about their families living on the border. Yes, uh, that has been brought up. Uh, there were some SDF that, that were concerned about their families that were closer to the border with Turkey uh, and what could potentially happen to them. And uh, of course I can uh, empathize with them. I have a family back home and so I can only imagine if they were in danger. After leaving Syria and going back to Erbil by night, one could wonder what will happen with the Syrian Kurds in the future. Vladimir van Wilgenburg, Kurdistan 24.